Welcome to a special edition of the Referrals Podcast. Introducing our new Daily Dose. We've assembled the ultimate crisis response team for your business. Generous leaders from around the globe teaming up to teach, guide, and lead you through this time of isolation and quarantine. Now, let's meet your host, Michael J. Mayer. Hey, everybody, this is Michael J. Mayer with another episode of The Daily Dose, brought to you by the Generosity Generation and referralspodcast.com. We have two of the most awesome guests today. They have a niche that is blowing people away. Literally, they are changing. They changed lives this morning. Can all? Can you guys say that? Like literally, they changed lives this morning. How cool is that? So I'm going to get into that in a second and have them patiently await while we uh, get back to them. But I have some announcements today, several. Like one is it is pajama day at Referco. Pajama day. And I will tell you, this is what I wear to sleep in. I wear a really soft, comfortable shirt to sleep in. And uh, so this is an example of one of those shirts. It's a Guns N' Roses shirt. Remind me in the future to have a spirit day or during spirit week to have a spirit day for like wear your favorite band shirt because I am ready for that. So today is pajama day. Tony and Jen are also in their PJs and it's the theme of the day. And by the way, it is national pajama day. Uh, it is national pajama day. So we are, we are right in line with the, with the, with the whole nation today. Um, so, some more announcements. Number one is Grading 101, sold out class. Sandy rocked it. If you missed it, the recording is going to be up in the units for the next 20 days. So check that out when you can. We have, yep, by popular demand, database on steroids with Dan Balzer. He showed his 90 point uh, data points for your clients, and he's going to show you how to keep it, collect it, and how to use it. It's called Database on Steroids with Dan Balter. Next Friday at 2.30 p.m. events, you can check that out. In the event section here at the Generosity Generation Group, that is a can't-miss class. You got to check it out. Now, also, your action items were, at this point, you should have a 100 of your top people identified, written down on a piece of paper, on a whiteboard, in your CRM, in an Excel. I don't care where you get it right now. Now, if you're new to the group, which I know many of you are, and you're new to the Daily Dose, then your job is to get 25. So we're doing 25 a week that we identify. High energy people, positive people, no negative Nellies, no Debbie Downers. It is only positive people, energetic people, and you're identifying them 25 a time every week up to the number 150. Now, some of you have your 100. If you have your 100, put 100 in the comments below. 100 means you have at least 100 of your top people identified. Now, for those of you that got your 100 and you also have 25 VIP forms filled out, put 100 slash 25. So if you've got 100, at least 100, and you've got at least 25 VIP forms, then do 100 slash 25. So that looks like this right here, 100 slash 25. So that means that you've got at least 25. I, I know Angela Gibbons has her, she has 75 of her 100 already done. She's had 75 conversations with people uh, already out of her hundred. That's, that's incredible. And that's, that's the way it should be, right? 25 a week. So also tomorrow we have Tim Brahim, which is a, an energy and mindset guru. Uh, Tony and I are definitely very familiar with Tim Brahim. He had a company called Loan Toolbox back in the day, sold it for multi-millions um, and in 2006 and is just one of the greatest thought leaders and knows so much about energy and mindset. I can't wait for tomorrow. Next Monday, we have Sean Rawls, the author and leader of a large organization. He is Monday's motivation. You will not want to miss that. Talk about, he has such a way of articulating his thoughts and what we're going through. I cannot wait for that. So that's next Monday. Without further ado, let me introduce our awesome guests today. And 
this is the bio that they sent over. And I have to tell you, like, they're so humble. Like, this is just a, like, prior to implementing uh, the 30 mornings program, Tony and Jen would wake up many mornings to the alarm clock sound of their baby screaming. How many of you can relate to that, you know? Uh, and by the way, last night I slept like a baby. I just want everybody to know that, which means like every two hours I rolled around and cried myself back to sleep. So I, I slept like a baby last night. So uh, followed by the rest of their in, entire day unfolding in a chaotic and reactive way, this led to lots of frustration by feeling unfocused and ineffective in many areas of their lives. Fast forward to January, 2016. Tony accepted the challenge from his fiance and now wife, Jennifer, to change their lives by making some rather simple adjustments to their morning schedule. That was when we started the 30 mornings program. Since then, things have drastically changed. The two have altered their mindset and improved their communication with their clients as well as each other. Oh my gosh, what a thought. Which has led to being much more effective in many facets of their lives. Tony has been able to adjust to the married life and energetic toddler, remodeling a hundred year old home, traveling to speak, keeping up with his cycling hobby, and opening up a new mortgage office in Atlanta with an ease that he can only attribute to having the 30 mornings and having his personal ultimate morning ritual. And Jen has mastered the perfect blend of being a stay-at-home mom while running a successful six-figure design and renovation business, which she has seen explode since starting the program. After a few short months of seeing massive improvements, they both took on the next challenge of sharing and teaching this newfound superpower with others and took on the work to become our certified morning coaches. They also became certified referral trainers and Jen has started accepting one-on-one -on -one clients to help them with their morning as a certified strategic coach. And we will talk about that towards the end. But I have to tell you, if you want to take your mayhem out of your ahem, it, I mean, these are the masters of mornings. They are certified mornings coaches and they have probably coached more classes and more people through the ultimate morning ritual than anybody I know. And without further ado, let's welcome Tony and Jen Scarpero to the Daily Dose. Woo! Thank yeah. You. Thank you, happy to be here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Michael. I just want to tell you before we get started that your, your Daily Dose has uh, really been filling our cups up so we can give back to others. So I just want to thank you for that. And everyone, if this is your first time here, keep coming back, it's full of good stuff. I love it. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I didn't mention earlier, but uh, you're at, you're in a, you both, you have a, we have a sold out East coast and a sold out West coast 30 mornings program. And I tell you, it's not necessarily one of the questions that I have on here, but make sure that uh, you share some of the successes from your, the 30 mornings program that, that you're teaching. And just so everybody knows, we are doing a new class by demand on May 11th, Jen and Tony, are teaching 30 mornings. It starts on May 11th. You can check out more at 30mornings.com or 30ams.com, but 30mornings.com. Can you change your life in 30 mornings? Yes, you can, and many have. And I want you to know that it's not free. Why do we charge a little bit for you to go? Well, first of all, Tony and Jen's time is very, very valuable. But second of all, if we don't charge, you don't show up and you don't make the change. So charging you a little bit gets you to show up and it helps make you change, it helps you change your behavior. So I love it. So at what point did you both decide that something had to change about your morning routine? What do you think, Tony? You know, I, I would say it was probably a, about a year before we really actually changed. Um, yeah. It was, you know, Michael, when you were doing the Gen Gen events here in Atlanta five, six years ago, I, I still remember uh, you actually had the, the book in pre-sales and I ordered the book in pre-sales. We had, you know, Kaya was, I think, just being born or maybe we ordered no. the book before she was, was just born. Be just before, right? Yeah, right yeah, before. Just, out to here. yeah just, just before she was born. <laughs> And I thought, man, I was like, this book, this baby, like, this is, this is it. This is going to make us uh, be morning people. And, and um, I have to admit, it, it didn't really go that way. We, no. we bought the book and, and it sat on a shelf for a long time, partly because we were blessed with a baby that loved to sleep. And so she, she didn't wake us up at an early time to start our mornings. Well, and, and I don't know if anyone else out there is like this, but we, we have, we had all the thirst for knowledge. We didn't have the follow-up. So, so we had, 
I want to say probably a hundred books on our shelf, just mocking us. You know, they were just sitting there giving us like the, just, like, you're not going to read me. I'm full of good stuff, but, but it's not for you because you're too lazy to find out. And, and that was right. I mean, we had to create that system, that time for ourselves. So that's, that's what we discovered. So mm -hmm. tell me, tell them more about that. Like, how did we get there? So two things on that real quick before that, yeah. Tony, it, it just, just because you, you have made such a, a valuable point about what's going on right now. I will tell you, there's never been maybe as many classes available to people online as there is right now, you know? And I mean, we can learn and when we now have time to read, but you hit on a really important point is it's not necessarily laziness that doesn't force us to change a right. lot. I mean, it, 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 and it's not knowledge that makes us change. A lot of times we, we change because we have to change, but change is only made by action. And, and that's when I, like so many people are like, I've never read so much and I'm, I've read 12 books since this started. And it's like, all right, but what have you done? Yeah. Like, and they're like, I've learned this and I've learned this and I've but what have you done? Like what? And I, I have that charge out to everybody that's listening to this daily dose live is, is what have you done? Don't tell me what you've learned. Don't tell me about the knowledge you've acquired. That does nothing. Right. That does, it literally does nothing. Everybody that's on this knows what the freak to do. We all know what to do. Everybody below say, I know what to do. Everybody type in the comments, say, I know what to do. Because the truth is we all know what to do, but we don't do it. We don't do it all because we can't do it all. But what can we do? What is that one degree tweak? What is that one small step that we can make today? You know, it goes back to that success is not 180 returns. Like I learned, I read this book, so I'm going to implement everything from that book. I read this book and I'm going to implement, it, it, can't, it doesn't, can't work that way. So yeah. like, I, I have to tell you, and I don't know the answer to this. I mean, I know you very well. I've eaten Tony's guacamole. The guy is the, I tell you, this guy, he, he can make a mohawk. <laughs> Look, I mean, literally, here's what's going to happen. Quarantine's going to be over, and there's going to be 5,000 people sporting mohawks in Atlanta. <laughs> like, this guy's a trendsetter. I mean, he can get away with that. I could never go with a mohawk. I would, it would look like a spike on top of a balloon if I did that. You know, it's like, it's not going to work. But, but I will tell you, I want to know. Like, I really want to know, what was that inflection point? What was that thing or happening that flipped the switch for you, you went to not doing all this to doing the morning ritual. Well, I, I feel like um, <clears throat> when we got started, that book was sitting on our shelf and, and I was in the middle of one of those moments where I was feeling like I wanted to do something different, but I didn't know what it was. So, so all that kind of energy creates anxiety inside of me. And when I get anxious, I try to declutter and, and make some improvements. And so that's when I came back to your book that day. And I saw the book and I went, man, I haven't read this book. I love Michael, but I, I, I need to pass it on to someone so they can love it because I'm just not going to do it. And then ripple effects out into the universe as I was starting to think about productivity, positivity. And, and that was the night, the same day, I'm telling you guys, the same day that I saw your wife, your beautiful wife, Sherry, and you post on Facebook, hey, we're looking for a beta group. Uh, we want some people to test out this class and see how it goes. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Yeah. First of all, like this, this couldn't really be happening on the same day, but it really did. And, and Tony was out of town. He had just taken a job that he didn't like with a company he knew wasn't the right company for him out of survival. Yeah. We've all been there. Yeah. And, and he was just about in tears cause he was just so sad cause he, he was not being um, in integrity with himself. Mm. And I said, look, you know, I know you're sad. Let's just try this class. Let's see what's there for us. And, and then we started the journey with you. I have to tell you that, uh, thank you for, I did not know that. I did not know that, uh, when Sherry and I posted on that about, hey, listen, we're going to do this 30 mornings, 30 day challenge, uh, that that was like, that was like a real inflection point. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, and, but it, it's one of those where it's like, you know, what I love about this is that you brought Tony in as well. 
you know, and, and, and honestly, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but maybe Tony got more out of it than you did just from the simple fact of he was in a place of frustration, you know, a place of I've got to change. I've got to make some changes. And uh, the other thing that there's probably people in 30 mornings right now whose spouses are not with them. And I would encourage them to do another, uh, uh, another class of 30 mornings and bring the spouse on, you know, and, and, and here's the thing on that, that I hate to put out there, but I'm going to put it out there is you're in the same house with your spouse and hopefully no mouse, um, anyway. but you're in the same house with your spouse is listen, we're going to do this with 30 mornings for May. You, you both can sign up for one fee, right? So pay once you both get to go. And one of the biggest difficulties with 30 mornings is like if you're implementing it and your spouse isn't, that's the hardest thing to do. But I'm telling you, if that is the situation and your spouse will not come with you, do it anyway, because yeah. you're in charge of your own personal growth. So yeah. I love that. I did not know that. I did yeah. not know that story. Yeah, and I, was you I was frustrated too. Um, we had the new baby and I had no time for myself. There were days where I didn't shower because I was out of control because I got up to the sound of, what did I get up to the sound of? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> That's and, awesome. it, and it literally was like and that was tony right and that was just tony right i mean it, it, you put kaya on top of it and it was like wah, 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 wah. i mean it was like <laughs> yeah you should have got a dog i wanted i needed well i hate to use the word need i tell i tell our students to take the word need out of their vocabulary and mm -hmm. replace it with want I wanted something more for myself. I wanted that, that, that clear, beautiful, serene time. And I wanted to exercise, you know, I wanted to take off the baby weight. I didn't know where I could find the time. I wanted to feel healthier, but I forgot to drink water. So our class, your class taught us all those different small little tweaks, like you say, just a little bit different to incorporate new things into our lives really, really easily. Mm -hmm. So, when did you see yourself turn a corner with with your your ultimate morning ritual what you were kind of constructing for yourself like when when did you feel like so there's like this the starting point and then there's like an inflection point right okay. where it kicks in and it really takes effect when did you know it was having an effect i would say you know for, for me and, and maybe jen was right around the same time but you know, for me, um, because Jen had asked me to come and do the course, and even though I had bought your book, Michael, I was still pretty resistant to uh, to doing the course. It was like I wanted the change, but I didn't want to commit to it, right? Yeah, thanks for and, the trust, Tony. I appreciate yeah. that. It's all good. <laughs> hey, hey, trust me. You know, don't don't worry about it. It's all good. No, I'm kidding. But I get it. There's a lot of yeah. other things going on, too. And, right? and so the thing was, you know, as Jen said, I mean, I, I was out of town for like a week in, in this new hire orientation thing. I, I remember I was actually up in Columbus, Ohio. It was in January. It was cold and snowy out. <laughs> okay. and, and our training didn't start till I think 10 in the morning or something. So I'm on these calls and Jen's here in Atlanta. And I'm literally like laying in bed on these, these first few uh, Zoom or, or webinar calls that you were doing at that time. So the first week or two, like I was kind of half-assing it. Like I was sort of committed and kind of like, okay, I'm listening to what he's saying. And as I really started to commit to it and, and do the things in the morning that you were sharing with us in, in 30 mornings, I, I think it was really for me probably right around three weeks into it where I just, my mindset was changing and I was just much more open to it. And that was where I really started seeing even just the gradual changes about three weeks into our, our first time in 30 mornings. Yeah. How about you, Jen? Um, I, I feel like it was probably around the same time because in the beginning, and, and this happens every single class to our students in the beginning, it's exciting. It's new. It's shiny. It's like maybe a little bragging rights for your friends. Look what I'm doing to make myself a better person. Aren't, mm -hmm. aren't I cool? Yeah. Yeah, while doing nothing, right? Just sign up for the class, tell people you're signed up for the class and then do nothing with it, right? And yeah. it's like, I feel better and, you know, I can brag about it, but nothing really changes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was when the newness wore off of the class and, and we weren't having to do, again, survival versus abundance. We weren't having to do anything. We were wanting it. 
Yeah. And, and I felt that switch and I felt, cause I was a chronic night owl. I mean, I mean, I loved my sleep. I still love sleep, but, yeah. but it's not worth trading extra sleep in the morning to me anymore for, for what I get out of my morning routine. It's just not. So, so I learned that when, when she was a small child and I was able to become more present as a mother, I was able to become more present for Tony. I was able to um, take care of myself more. And, and all of a sudden I felt like a person again because I had lost that. Yeah. And so was there, was there a particular day or topic that it really hit home when you were working through the first 30 morning challenge? I, I think for me, it was the, the affirmations, maybe not the day that I learned the affirmations, yeah. but, but I learned something about myself that I've found a lot of students um, also go through is I didn't want to make the affirmations because I didn't believe I was worthy of those things. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that just like, that, that blew my mind because I, I was like, oh, maybe I'm just not wanting to do the homework of the class. And then I realized it was much deeper than that. Mm -hmm. It was, I didn't feel like I deserved to really be happy. Or that you were lying to yourself. Yeah. Right. Or that you were lying to yourself. Like yeah. I'm lying to myself when I say I'm a best-selling author, you know, because right. I'm not a best-selling author yet. Right? right. So, so how did you, how did you overcome that? How did you, how did you go through that? Well, I always tell people when we're teaching to, and I don't know how you feel about this because this was not part of your class, but, mm -hmm. but I feel uh, when, when you don't believe those affirmations, the I am statements that help you live into that future, bigger, better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a million dollar producer or whatever that might be is I tell people to say, I am the possibility of Mm -hmm. a million dollar producer and that sort of like gets the training rolling mm -hmm. gets yeah. the training wheels on and then when you tell yourself that every day for a month then you take those training training wheels off you don't need it anymore that's right you are you, you are on that path to that place that you set that intention for say it again say that say the affirmation again so give an example again of 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 how you kind of train it now so um, instead of saying i am a best-selling author right let's build a better affirmation because somebody's out there wanting to be a best-selling author and they're saying, I can't say I am a best-selling author as an affirmation because I'm not a best-selling author. So how would you coach? Right. And, and you feel like a liar and you feel cheesy and you feel all those weird things. So then you stop doing the affirmation. So, yeah. so what I tell people and Tony tells people is I am the possibility of. I am, a, I am the possibility of a best-selling author. That's right. Oh my God, it worked. It yeah. just were. I am a best-selling author. It just what great coaching. That was amazing. Like that. I, I did. You guys feel that? I totally felt it. It's but, that fast. All right. <laughs> so so I will tell you that sometimes we help people. Now I'm a I'm a real believer in in I am statements. I am because here's the thing is that I I was a best-selling author before I was a best-selling author because I had the potential. I had the possibility within me to be a best-selling author. And I have to tell you that everybody has the possibility and potential to be a best-selling author. I truly 100% believe that. It is that you, everybody that's listening to this has the wisdom within them that if we put it on paper, it would become a best-selling uh, book. But here's the thing is, is, is some people just like, well, I'm not a best-selling author. I can't say that. So it's like, I am becoming, I am yeah. becoming I am becoming a best-selling author. But the problem with I am becoming or I am the possibility sometimes is that if we're always using the future tense, we're, it's always going to be the future. What we want to try to do is, is we want it to be as present tense as possible. But I love what you've done, Jen. If you've taught it from the aspect of getting them to make a one-degree tweak on their way to, you know what, the best affirmation, honestly, in my opinion, this is my hum humble opinion, is I am a best-selling author or something even better. I'm mm -hmm. a huge fan or, the, or something better. I got that from Jack Canfield, the guy who wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul, but it's like, or something better. And, and what's amazing is how often something better isn't the first thing, it's something else. It's not even something like, it's not super international best-selling author, it becomes something else, you know, speaker, trainer, life changer, 
you know, whatever it may be. So, you know, so I love, uh, that was a powerful conversation around, uh, around affirmations, but so let's, let's explain it to people so that, you know, they can literally listen to this and develop their own personal ultimate morning ritual, right? So let's go through what are the phases or the steps to the ultimate morning ritual. So what does that look like? Explain savers to me, basically. Yeah, so you know, savers is, is really, it's, a, it's just a nice acronym to put together several different words. And uh, obviously, it, well, it came, it started from Hal Elrod's book from the Miracle Morning. And then, It'll be on next week, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see that. And, and then you added to your version of it an extra A in mm -hmm. savers. So it, it all stands for the S is silence. And that can be anything from literally just sitting in silence in the morning to praying or meditating, whichever of those that fits best for you and resonates best. Uh, then the A for affirmations, A for appreciations, and then V for visualization. And, and around visualization is, you know, visualizing what you've got maybe in, in your day of meetings, conversations you have coming up to, you know, visualizing maybe things that you, that you have of longer term goals. And even in our, in the course in 30 mornings, we take people through creating vision boards. And mm -hmm. I have to tell you too, Michael, that was something that when we started 30 mornings, I had never done a vision board before ever in my life. I'd, I'd wow. heard of them and always thought it was like this weird, you know, woo woo hippie you know, thing or whatever. I was like, thanks. thanks. I did. Have, I did have my hair long when I was teaching it. So <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. And, and, and so we, you know, we take people through that and, and creating vision boards in the course. Yep. Yep. And, and that's probably one of people's favorite things that we do, honestly, is the vision board. Because if you get to dream, you get to act like a kid again. And that's what we are encouraging our students right mm -hmm. now, especially is like, hey, guys, yeah, it might suck a little bit that we can't leave our homes, but you are given this gift, this amazing gift of time. And if you choose to accept it, <laughs> yeah. Right? presence and in that presence you can dream about your wildest dreams that you maybe haven't thought of in 10 years or more or longer i mean maybe in since you were a kid yeah yeah and so and then the rest of the savers is you've got e for exercise and mm -hmm. You know, it could be something as simple as, as doing a seven minute workout with, with the seven minute workout app. There's a few of them out there now. And, and I do that quite often. If I'm short on time, I'll do the seven minute workout. Maybe I'll do two rounds of it and it kicks yep. your butt in seven to yep. 15, yeah. 14 minutes. It does. Uh, <laughs> you know, or it could be, you know, if somebody wants to go for a long walk or ride a bike, run, whatever it is, whatever mm -hmm. their exercising is. But really the, the focus there is just to, to get the blood flow and get the mind awake in the morning. Um, and then R for reading, and that had a tremendous impact on me of how many books that I've read over the last few years. Yeah. And then the, the last, the S for uh, scribing or journaling. Yeah, yeah, I love that. So we've got S is for silence. If people are asking what are the what are the uh, yep. what are the what's the acronym again? A, a is for affirmation. The second A is for appreciation. That's a that's a mayor special, if you will. Uh, I believe in doing. I appreciate in the morning. I believe in doing. I appreciate at night. Uh, it's amazing what we have to be grateful for and, and appreciative of. There's, I wish we had time to go into the power of just the word appreciation. You know, all the subsets of appreciation, you know, like uh, respect and responsibility and commitment and patience and kindness and uh, recognition, like all those are subsets of appreciation, right? And then we've got the V's for visualization, and then you've got the E for exercise, R for reading, and then the S is for scribing or scribbling, uh, which is essentially, uh, you know, my journal would look like scribbling, you know, because you're not going to be able to read it. Um, <laughs> Sherry's tried. So, <laughs> so it's, it's one of those where it's like, okay, so uh, you've kind of went into depth on the affirmations and we've kind of gone into a little bit of the depth of the, the vision boards and the visualization. And I will guarantee that nobody had quarantine on their vision board for 2020. So, so what would you coach somebody with if let's say, you know, they've got their vision board up there and it's like, well, if I get this many sales, I'm going to buy a Porsche Boxster. If I get, you know, if I do, I'm going to go on vacation to here. 
right? Like the Bahamas, April 6th through the freaking 10th. Oh, wait, that's, that's too personal. I'm not bitter about it at all. Calm down. So, but yeah, so there's, so, so yeah, so we had the Bahamas on our vision board. It didn't happen, right? So, so, so what would the coaching be on, you know, on the vision board? Is there, it, it, what should I do? Throw it away? Burn well, it? Um, no, but I, I think first of all, I'm telling people you're allowed to feel grief right now. And, and that's huge because so many of the classes out there that are being just pushed at us is make the most out of everything and you yeah. can thrive. And we're not talking enough about you can feel grief right now and you can take that time to heal and you can grieve. You can do all of those things. But then, and, and that's important to let that out. If it stays inside and you don't acknowledge that, that creates problems as well. Yeah. So that's part of being healthy is acknowledging your feelings, getting them out, and then you're filling it back up with what you want to see. So, mm. so that Porsche Boxster may not be important to you anymore if you had someone that ended up with this virus yeah. in your family. Like all of a sudden that money is, hey, I'm going to a wellness camp that's yeah. going to go on my board now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to invest in uh, these amazing supplements and do some research on that and, and keep ourselves thriving before shit hits the fan. Sorry yeah. for my language, but, yeah. but we, you're the first person way. to cuss on a daily dose. I appreciate <laughs> that. So just, just yes. throwing it out there that yes. uh, it was very appropriate. And I have to tell you that <laughs> Jen, you could probably say anything and everybody in the audience would go, that is so cool. And I just want everybody to know, if you go through 30 mornings, there is no guarantee that you will be as good looking or awesome as Tony and Jen Scarpera. We have to put that out there. I just have to make sure that, you know, Tony at one time was not 350 and, and Jen at one time was not, uh, I don't know what to say, right? They, 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 they both have looked like supermodels from the very beginning and we just made them a little cooler through 30 mornings. So I, I just, I just want you guys to know that that's, uh, that's well, we can't guarantee that. You're right? very sweet, but um, <laughs> more than ever, none of that matters right now. <laughs> kind of, I mean, uh, to, to agree with you again, which I just keep doing. Uh, and, and I get that from Tony, right? Tony, Tony has taught me the yes, dear. And it, it's so effective. I mean, like this whole communicating with your spouse. <laughs> It, it, Jen's like, hey, let's do this 30 mornings class. Tony just goes, yes, dear. And then, and Jen's going like, yeah, you're getting up every morning with me. Yes, dear. And it's like, hey, you got to be on in the morning. Yes, dear. And then it took him like three weeks to like actually like implement anything from the class. But, yeah. but he got here through yes, dear. And yeah. so I've, I've learned that, learned that lesson. And then I tell him to make me eggs. And that works he, too. <laughs> do you have guacamole with your eggs? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, yes. Sometimes. I, I, I would like that. I would typically not make that combination happen, but if it was Tony's guacamole, I, I would eat it with eggs. Sometimes it's not full-on guacamole, but we actually do have avocado quite often with breakfast. Yeah, Costco is getting a lot of our avocado. It's a superfood. Yeah. 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 Right. Great, great. They say, what is it, like the best fat? It has the medium-chain triglycerides and all that in it? Yeah. yeah. Which helps your brain. So, your focus. Um, so let's, let's, uh, so I guess the, before I go into, I, you know, you're actually gonna, we're gonna actually go through a sample of this, which I, I absolutely love that we're gonna demo it and have everybody do it while we're here. But before we go into that, uh, tell us about some stories of people you've helped through 30 mornings. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah, probably one of the most amazing we had, I wanna say two years ago or so was, um, a guy named Dave that he was up in Connecticut, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he was a real estate agent and signed up, took the course um, himself first. And then throughout, you know, that 30 days, his wife started seeing changes in him and in just his attitude, his spirit changed, his happiness was different. His attractiveness. Yeah, yeah. everything. His and sex life improved, right? <laughs> I don't know we, about that part. He, he didn't yeah, know no, we're gonna that. we're gonna guarantee that in thirty we're gonna, mornings. Yeah, we're gonna your just sex go life with. will improve if yeah. you go through thirty mornings. And yeah, yeah, right there, we have literally like, I'm look, oh my God, look at that! The signups are happening left and right. Oh my, <laughs> we, we are done. Thank you, Dave. Right. So right. now we 
we call him Super Dave. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go, go ahead and uh, yeah, finish finish the story. So he became more attractive to the wife, and the wife was like, "Wow, what's going on?" I want to interject real fast. If you are confident and you're working out, then you know. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, so what did Dave, all right, so Dave, uh, after, after he had gone through 30 mornings, you know, his wife saw these changes, and she's like, I, I want in on this, and so literally the next month, when we did the next 30 mornings, his wife signed up, they did it together, and the next one after that, their, I want to say 19 or 20-year-old son, uh, he was just going off starting college, was a freshman in college, and and the son, the college son, got inspired by seeing the differences of, of how his parents were together and just the things that were changing in their lives. Mm. And so literally the freshman in college son joined up 30 mornings and he was in our in one of our episode our courses like two years ago. And he's, he's up, you know, getting up in the dorms and would go and w was on live with us in the morning in 30 mornings doing it from the cafeteria in, in the student lounge and, and got even, even yeah. more other kids involved. So, you know, that was pretty amazing to see for a, a, a whole family that got inspired, you know, really starting with Dave himself. And, and Are you enjoying the Daily Dose? Want to connect with thousands of other business owners that are winning the referral game while working from home right now? Head over to the Generosity Generation Facebook group. Connect with leaders, visionaries, and business owners from all over the world. Go to www.joingengen.com. That's www.joingengen.com. One of the neat things too is we have through throughout the course, you know, is what you started having us do in the beginning was taking that, you know, sunrise photo. And we started telling people, hey, it doesn't necessarily have to be the sunrise itself, right? It can be a coffee mug or your dog or cat or go outside and take a picture of leaves, whatever it is that you find beauty in. Yep. And so just retraining our mind's eye to look for things of beauty. So Dave started doing this and he got really, really into it. And he ended up with this newfound hobby of photography to where as he was in it with us for several months, he started posting the most amazing photos, went out and got a, a, a you know, professional type camera yeah. and had this newfound love of photography. Yeah, you, yeah. you guys even had dinner, right? Yeah, yeah he, he was uh, he was here in Atlanta a couple of years ago for a conference and, and met up in person and had dinner with him. That's awesome. Yeah. Jen, you had something else to add to that? Um, I was just going to say his photography turned into like a little side business. And he realized like I was creative when I was growing up as a, you know, elementary and high school. Mm -hmm. And I loved the art classes, but I never really did anything with it because, you know, life. And, mm -hmm. and then he discovered that he was passionate about this. So now he has this like side business that he can go to these festivals and sell his photography. And it, it lights him up from inside out. Yeah, That's what it's about. you know, and the thing I'll add to that, Michael, because, you know, I, I know you asked us for one example of one person and, and we, we talk about Dave a lot because it's, I think one of the things that inspired us so much was seeing how it impacted his whole family. Right. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is with, with a lot of these different, you know, personal development or coaching programs, I feel like in, in our world that we're in, in, in real estate and mortgage, a lot of times people get into coaching or courses really more so specifically for their business, right? right. And looking for that result of increasing their business. And the thing that's interesting that I found, because we get emails and, and texts and chat conversations through Facebook from people that we've you know, had in the course. And like you said, I mean, we've coached at this point well over a thousand people. Mm -hmm. And so what's interesting is everybody gets something different. I mean, we get these emails and text conversations where you know, people are like, hey, because I started exercising, it lowered my blood pressure, or I was able to get off of this medication I've been on, or other people, you know, send us messages about how it changed their confidence in their life, or lowered their anxiety, you know, from any different component of savers. And, and we've had, you know, numerous people where it's increased their business. So, 
it's not even like that it's really just one thing or one person, like the example that we give of Dave. I mean, yeah. it's so many different facets of people's lives that we get these just unbelievable testimonies from people on. And that's what really drives mm -hmm. us to keep, to keep coaching it, you know, yeah. seeing that change that we make for people. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite thing to see people learn is, <clears throat> excuse me, to get out of their own way. Mm -hmm. like, like in the questions box, I would love, or chat box, I would love for who out there is, has trouble like blocking themselves or, or preventing themselves from growing or, or do you feel stuck? Say, say yes in the questions box. Yeah, or like, say stuck, right? Stuck. Say stuck. <laughs> it, it, that's with an <laughs> ST, not yeah, an F. Yeah. So say stuck in the comments if you're stuck, yeah. right? Or if you, you've experienced being stuck, right? Stuck in a rut. And yeah. I will tell you the number one way to break out of a rut is a new ritual. Mm -hmm. And 30 mornings is, is a great example of that. And I have to give a shout out to Deb Jolson. Yeah. You know, yeah. Deb Jolson started out on the very first 30 mornings. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe that she is now on six or seven years straight that she has done her ultimate morning ritual and takes a photo every morning. In fact, my suggestion to her was to share it in the Miracle Morning Group, and she shared it for like 765 straight days, something like that. <laughs> Amazing. And I'm so yeah. glad, Tony, that, that you identified what that activity was really about and, and, and didn't just stick to taking a picture of the sunrise. You really understood it, that it wasn't taking a picture of the sunrise. It was taking a picture of something you appreciate in the morning and the beauty that exists in the world. I, and I, I tell the story of the pine cone with my son, right? It's just like, I'd really never looked at a pine cone right. the way Max made me look at it when he was a little baby. He was just like studying every, and the more I looked at this pine cone, I was like, this is beautiful, you mm -hmm. know? So I love that, I love that. And yeah. you know, uh, some, some adaptations that, that people have made, I'd love for you to share. I'll share a couple and then you guys have uh, share is like the exercise and the reading. Um, something that, that I do, you don't have to do this, but I've really fallen in love with walking and listening to podcasts or walking and listening to audiobooks. And what's really interesting is I'm actually listening to the seven L I'm actually listening to the audible. And it's just like that guy's voice is so grating. It's just like, I want to just like, it's like scratching on a chalkboard, listening to that guy read the book. I'm just kidding. It's me. But, but it is weird listening to yourself while you're walking around the block. But, you know, so you can combine the exercise and the reading, uh, that kind of thing. You can, you can combine the affirmations, the appreciations, and the journaling, uh, which I do often. Um, and I, I think the one thing that, that there's two things that are kind of big that visualization is probably the most underrated and underutilized of, of savers, in my opinion, because visualization is an achievement accelerator. Like when you visualize how you will feel when you achieve something, when you uh, visualize it happening, it's amazing how the universe will read that and conspire to make that happen for you. I've ha I have so many stories under visualization that would literally blow people away as to what I got out of a situation when I visualized what was going to happen before I got there. So what are yeah. some, some adaptations that you guys have made or you've seen made from people in your class? Um, well, or some yeah. best practices, right? Yeah, little life hacks, right? <laughs> yeah, because we all want the, the good stuff, but if we can combine some things and, and get the same amount of stuff out of, of what we do, then that's even better. So, mm -hmm. so a lot of people get on the treadmill and they, they listen to their audio books. That's a huge one. Um, I think you also can uh, practice silence and some breathing techniques at the same time. I mean, it makes sense you're sitting there and you're being silent. What else have we heard from people lately, Tony? I'll tell you one I got from you guys. I think it was from you guys is the lemon water. Oh, yeah. Right? So the lemon in the water in the morning, right? And I will tell you, I tried the squeeze lemon out of the, like, where they give yeah, you the lemon. Good. Oh, my God. It's got, you got to go real lemon or, yeah. or don't do it at all. That, so, that, so, that stuff was awful. So, so. Here's, a, uh, here's a new and improved hack yeah. on that is yeah. add a little bit of fresh ginger. Very cool. Oh. Not too much because you're Gary, do we have ginger? <laughs> do we have some ginger? Do we have some ginger? Oh, I'm going to try it tomorrow. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. That's um, called do it now. Like literally, that, let's that implement is. that puppy. That is. What else have we heard this week? People are just starting to get into the the combination of doing things at the same time. So so they're just learning about that. And right now, being limited on not being able to go to the gym before the call is is challenging for some people. So we have yeah. lots of people learning about all the apps that we're telling them about. Mm -hmm. um, that, that was one thing I was going to ask you is, is, what are a couple of apps, you mm -hmm. know, that on Apple or Android that you recommend to help us do our morning ritual? Gosh, okay. there's, um, you know, Headspace, Omvana, mm. Calm. I um, love Calm. Think up. think up is a great one. Yeah, now Think Up is cool because you can record your own voice into the app with affirmations or appreciations, and then it reads it back to you. So it's it's your brain connects to it more because it's not some random stranger telling yeah, you, yeah. you can do this. It's, right. it's you telling mm -hmm. you you can do this. I so love that. It's called Think Up, UP. Think Up, yep. yep. I believe my son, I wish I would have... Uh, I, I think I wish I would have done think up. I think I wish I would have done that app because my son has actually done that app with Sherry and he did his own affirmations and we kept it and it's in like six year old voice. He was like five or six. So it's like, and I, I mean, it's like cutest voice ever, you know, I am the light of the world, you know, or whatever. It's like, Whoa, that's yeah. like, so, yeah. you know, uh, I think the big thing is, it, for those of you interested, go to 30mornings.com or 30ams.com. You can get into 30 Mornings now for May. Uh, the current class is sold out. And uh, you do get a 100-plus page book. I truly believe that if we printed the book and sold it on Amazon, it'd be a bestseller tomorrow. Uh, it's, it's one of the best things I've ever done. With the 10-day sprints, and then it also has the Monday through Friday set up, and then it's also set up for you to get up 15 minutes earlier each week. And then the last two days are Monday and Tuesday. And it's kind of like, all right, try this on your own for three days. So it's like, there's a lot of thought that went into 30 mornings and uh, you know, it's been life changing for a lot of people. And Tony and Jen uh, have made that happen. A big shout out to Neil Smith and Shalee Davis as well. They're teaching the West coast version. And awesome. you know, Jen, I want you to really kind of rally us up here. Is is you know, can you dig it a little bit deeper into into one of these? Uh, you know what? Before you do that, I'm going to do a question. We do have a little bit of time here. Are you guys okay with taking a question or two? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll and then we'll do the dig deeper into one of these. So, sure. uh, let's see. Jen has quite a few people interested in doing a vision board class. Are you interested in doing a vision board class? Yep, I've actually been talking with uh, people on your team about it, and you've been busy, so you may not know that. But <laughs> I didn't, yeah, you're I, right. I love them, and good job, and you go, right? Yeah. But here's what's going to be interesting about this class. I'm going to be in it, and Max is going to be in it. Awesome. So we'll, we'll figure out a time that works. It'll be a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, because mm -hmm. we do baseball on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Okay. Um, okay, is that up there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll figure out if you're interested in the class, put vision board below and we will make sure you're one of the first contacted about Jen's vision board class. And like I said, I will be front and center learning and putting together a new vision board uh, now that the vision has changed. So, right. all right. So we've got a question here. Um, does the silence prayer followed by visualization work? I do affirmations, appreciations, and the journaling together. Does it work when I put silence and prayer followed by visualization? Basically, what Lee Legou is saying, Legou, L-A-G-U-E-U-X, Legou, Legou, I'm sorry about that, I'm going to butcher that, Leah, is, um, I think it's Lee, actually. Um, anyway, so can you change the order of savers? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the key is it, the acronym was made, you know, from how to, to put it all together in a pretty word, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it doesn't matter what order that you do things in. I personally like to exercise first because that wakes me up versus trying to read or going to silence uh, first thing in the morning. So yeah. it really doesn't matter what order that you're doing it in. What matters is that you have order, that you have yeah. that structure mm -hmm. in the morning. And, and it really doesn't matter how much time that you spend on each of those principles either, really. So it's just focusing on doing those principles in whatever order, however much time that, that works for you. Yeah. Love yeah, that. I, I was stuck in my perfectionism when I first started the class. So I, 
I thought, um, oh my gosh, I don't have time to do everything before the class starts and I'm failing. And I, I was so hard on myself and, and I uncovered, you know, a lot of what that was about, which this class starts out looking like it's a lighthearted, fun thing, but you can get pretty deep. You yeah. Can get pretty deep into it. But I realized all of those things and, and learned to get out of my own way. So it made kind of all the difference. I think the biggest superpower of the morning ritual this way, and hopefully when Sweet Dreams comes out and I finish that book and, and you know, we talk about nightly ritual, Sunday night ritual, and then the nightly ritual, is that these rituals are combining the habits. It's called habit stacking, mm -hmm. right? What we're really doing here is habit stacking, but it's, it's actually positive habit stacking. And what you're doing is you're taking these habits of the highly successful and you're, you're putting them into your day in either the night or the, or the morning, which is the two best times to put rituals in. And the other power to it is that they become conversation points with highly successful people. And, and that has actually turned into a million dollar contract for me. I was talking to a very highly influential person and we just happened to have a conversation about what we're learning. And I, and I was talking about meditation and I'm a, I'm a beginner learning meditator. I'm getting better all the time. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is we're, and I told him, like, I'm trying to learn more about this. I want to become a better meditator. He was talking about it too. And we got, just got to, well, that conversation led to a high minded conversation about how I could help a sales team and turn into a million dollar contract. So, but it's like, if, if otherwise, what could we have talked about, right? It would have been about kids or golf or, or some of these other things, but those are, those are low level rapport builders. High level rapport builders are meditation, journaling, affirmations, visualization, appreciations, exercise, and reading. Those are high minded rapport builders, right? Is, you know, if, if you can talk about that, then they're probably an achiever and so are you. If you're talking about, no offense to this, but like kids and, and um, golf and sport and, uh, you know, Tiger King, right? <laughs> Things like, now here's the thing, is there anything wrong with talking about Tiger King or, or uh, yes, there's a lot wrong talking about, no, I'm kidding. But, but you know, politics is actually a low level uh, rapport builder and, and it actually can be a negative rapport builder. Um, religion can be a negative rapport builder, right? So it's like, you've got these negatives, you've got these low level, and then the high level. Well, now you've got something to talk about that will attract powerful people. And as long as your business and your life is predicated on not preying on the weak, but actually partnering with the strong, then you want high level rapport builders, which, which leads you to savers, which leads you to a morning ritual, lead, leads you to 30 mornings. So we've got a couple other questions on here, sorry. Um, <clears throat> Will Smith had an high school affirmation. Who shared that, Sherry, can you tell me? Dan Luig. Uh, Dan Luig said that uh, even in high school, Will Smith said, I am an A-list celebrity. Nice. Many of you probably know the story of, um, who's the guy in Ace Ventura? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey wrote himself a $10 million check, carried it with him, even when he was a struggling comedian speaking on stage. They laughed at him at Saturday Night Live because he had this $10 million check in his wallet at all times. Yeah. Guess what? He, he I can't remember the film, but he did a, vi a film and he was actually paid $10 million to do yeah. exactly 10 million to do to do the film and so it's like you know he had the 10 million dollar check before he had the 10 million dollars right. um let's see kid oh so dan Luigs has a game with his kids kids have to look for three things each day to be th he, three three appreciations a day with his kids nice so as they see them they say well, number one number two number three and he's doing appreciations with his kid I love that. Lots great. of great comments. Lots of people want to do a vision board. So let's, let's bring this home, right? So Jen, yeah. um, you're such a great practitioner. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this if I didn't know you both as guests, but like take us through something here, right? So, so let's dive deeper into, you know, mm -hmm. uh, S A A V E R or S. What should I do? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I want, everyone to really uh, think about what I'm about to say. Integrity in our appointments to ourselves, it's, it's far more important than meeting people for lunch, but we manage to show up for those lunch meetings. We don't show up for ourselves. So the biggest 
most powerful thing I think I, I feel like we teach is, as I already said, get out of your own way. But you do that by realizing what integrity means. And integrity means your thoughts and your feelings have absolutely nothing to do with whether or not you follow through with something. So what does that mean? That means when the sheets feel extra good in the morning, <laughs> and, and that was this morning for me, by the way, you don't care. You're doing it anyway because your commitment to yourself about when you are getting up is a fact. It is not an option. It is not something you do when you feel like it or if you have time or this wishy-washy crap that you might have done in your life before. That's not who you have to be anymore. You can be this person that does it. No matter no, what. No matter what. No matter so, what. N -N -W. So I always tell people, yeah, in the chat box, if you want to be that type of person that lives like that, that is rewarded in a way that only living by those principles can bring you, you have to do it with no matter what in your head every day. So, so Michael, can I ask everyone in the chat box to give us a, I always say a big fat juicy, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. NMW or no matter what you are going to do it. No matter what you are committed, no matter what. And I, I will tell you, we all do that at the beginning of 30 mornings and we have them no matter what, like I'm, I'm going to show up for 30 days. We either, I implement it or not, I'm going to show up, right? Because we know we have to show up to go up, right? And, and the only way to, to go up is we've got to grow up. Well, you got to show up to grow up, and then you grow up to go up. We all want to go to the next level. The first step to going to the next level is showing up. And I love that you brought that up, Jen, because it's, it's, like, it's, the, it's the, like the most powerful thought yeah. in the world is no matter what. It, it goes beyond I need blank or I want blank, past I must have blank. It's like, it's literally like I commit to blank at the highest level, you know? That's so right. I love that. And if people see you as the type of person that lives that way, you have amazing things happen for you. And I'm talking about in your relationship at home, with your work, with your friends, you are that person that people can count on. And not only that, but you know it about yourself. And all of a sudden you're walking taller and you're feeling better. And right. you know what? I am going to work out today because I'm worth all this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so that's the, the, the biggest like mind explosion that I really learned from all of this. But now that I've gotten you all fired up, <laughs> mm -hmm. would you like to do a meditation with me? <laughs> I have to tell you. That was, that was my choice. I would, I would love, I mean, that's, that's probably the weakness in my game, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm in. So I can tell, me, tell me what to do and everybody, everybody do it with me. Right. So if you're okay. at a watch party, if you haven't started a watch party, go up and do start watch party right now. And let's, let's get as many people as we can doing this guided meditation. I'm in. Yeah, because it doesn't cost anything, guys. I mean, I have apps that I do pay a little bit for a year because they have so many features. I love the Insight Timer for this, but and I'm I've been doing it for a while, but I still like someone to tell me what to do. So you don't have to know how to meditate. Mm -hmm. Someone can just, I mean, you can all close your eyes, right? You know how to do that. So all all they do is say, close your eyes and think of this and breathe, and and so you just do what they say. You follow directions for a couple minutes, and then all of a sudden, guess what? You meditated for the first time. Yeah. So that's all we're gonna do right now is meditate. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna jump off off the screen so yep. I can read my my beautiful yep. meditation for you, and we're gonna let you look at Tony's mohawk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, they need to have their all eyes. our eyes are going to be closed. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So first of all, everyone, now that I've jacked you up with the no matter what, we need to relax a little bit. So yeah. I want you to just kind of start rolling yeah. your shoulders a little bit. Yeah. Three, two, one, relax, right? From Adam Hergenrother, Daily Dose. He did three, three, two, one, relax. That's it. And, and as we lift our shoulders up and squeeze to our ears, just squeeze, tense, 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 tense. And then we're dropping our shoulders. And then you can wiggle them around a little more. And uh, I just want to show you my coffee mug real fast. I'm going to cuss for a second time real here. Michael, look at this. So that's Amen. All there you go. That's, that's, that's how, how that's how you can cuss without cussing. That was nice. <laughs> Nice work right I'm talking there. About. <laughs> All right. So 
Everyone, I want you to just close your eyes. <clears throat> and during this breathing meditation, you will focus on your breath. This will calm your mind and it will relax your body. There is no right or wrong way to meditate. And whatever you experience during this breathing meditation is right for you. Don't try to make anything happen. I want you to just observe. Begin by finding a comfortable position, one that you won't fall asleep in, perhaps on the floor with your legs crossed or just leaning against the back of your chair. And then just close your eyes or you can choose to focus on one spot in your room. And now again, let's roll our shoulders slowly forward and then slowly back. And lean your head from side to side, lowering your left ear towards your left shoulder and your right ear towards your right shoulder. And relax your muscles. Your body will continue to relax as you meditate. Now just observe your breathing. Notice how your breath flows in and out. And make no effort to change your breathing in any way. Simply notice how you breathe. Your body knows exactly how much air it needs. And sit quietly Seeing in your mind's eye, your breath flowing gently in and then out of your body. And when your attention wanders, as it will, just let it pass right through. See how your breath continues to flow deeply and calmly. Notice the stages of a complete breath from the in-breath to the pause that follows, the exhale, and the pause that comes before taking another breath. See the slight breaks between each breath and feel the air entering through your nose. Picture it flowing into the cavities of your sinuses and then down into your lungs. Again, as thoughts intrude, don't stop them, just allow them to pass and keep returning to your attention to your breathing. Now see the air inside your body after you inhale, feeling your body gently, notice how the space inside your lungs becomes smaller after you exhale and the air leaves your body. Feel your chest and stomach gently rise and gently fall with each breath. Now, as you inhale, count silently. One. As you exhale, count one, wait for the next breath and count again. One, exhale, one, inhale, one. Continue to count each inhalation and exhalation as simply one. Now notice how your body feels. See how calm and gentle your breathing is and how relaxed and also energized your body feels. Now is the time to gently reawaken your body and your mind and keeping your eyes closed just start to notice some of the sounds around you 
Feel the floor beneath you, your clothes against your body, and just wiggle your fingers and toes. And then like we did before, shrug those shoulders up, up to your ears and squeeze, 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 and let go. Now, open your eyes. <laughs> There's Michael. <laughs> and remain sitting for a few moments longer. And then stretch out your legs and your arms gently, feeling how relaxed you feel and experience your body reawaken and your mind returning to a new level of alertness. Now slowly, I want everyone to just reach their arms up and then we're gonna say, ah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. continue with the rest of your day feeling refreshed, relaxed and reinvigorated. That's what I feel like. I feel like clapping. That was so good. I, it's like, that's the difference in meditation, right? Taking yourself through that would almost be impossible. You know, right. that's and the I power need, of. I need the baby steps. I need someone telling me exactly what you guys did. That's how yeah. I would want it. And I've been yeah. doing it for a while. So yeah, I call it my mini pocket vacation. Yeah. Because, because it can calm me down and it can also light me up like nothing else that quickly. What's really funny is the energy in this room, I'm in the studio at home. And so Sherry was doing it and I was doing it. Well, Miles, our dog is, <laughs> is typically like pretty fired up. He's a multi poo and he's always wanting to play and stuff like that. So the energy in the room was such that he totally like sprawled out. <laughs> Miles, come here, bring, bring Miles here. Like he was so calm. Like he was just like, Nice. So, like, you can even see it in his eyes. He's just like, what's up? You know, like, oh, right? Yeah, he right? looks like, pretty zen. He looks pretty zen. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just like, what was all that about? I want to lay my head down and down, right? So, I know. and it's just amazing because it, it doesn't cost you, you can get, if I get on YouTube and find amazing meditations that are free. There's yeah. apps that are free. Well, what's even more amazing too is, is Jen found on which, which app is it that it has guided meditations for children. Yeah. And so Kaya now being five, you know, there's, there's some nights, I mean, we alternate which one of us is taking her to bed each night. And, and there's some nights where she's, like wide awake and just bouncing off the walls. I don't know if many other five-year-olds are like that at bedtime, but, yeah, it's but Jen, you know, <laughs> gives them, gives her this guided meditation. And she's now like, mommy, I want to hear the story on your phone. And, and, it's, it's and awesome. she's out in like five minutes listening to it. It's awesome. So that's the sweet dreams, right? Is, is yeah. in sweet dreams, the M in dreams is meditation and the S is sleep. So it's right at the end on purpose. So it, it's just like, it's, it, you're so right. Is like one, the problem with meditating before you go to sleep is sometimes you don't make it through the meditation. You know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. on that? <laughs> it's like, okay. I, I think if I would have do, done that at like 10 o'clock at night, like I think I would have been asleep two minutes into it, you know? Well, and that's, that's perfect for you then. I mean, that's, that's what your body wants. And that's helping you get there. So there's nothing wrong with that. So you can yeah. meditate these apps you can meditate on a million different subjects you can meditate for dealing with anxiety you can meditate to sleep better you can meditate for inspiration for grieving yeah. so a million different things so is the kids app is that the insight timer that I, has it's definitely in the insight timer but i am pretty positive that all the apps would have that same feature the kids app the kids yeah. part of it yeah, yeah okay good well I'll tell you what, this is awesome. And by the way, for those interested in scheduling a one-to-one -on -one or a one-to-one -one session with Jen, you can go to calendly.com slash Jen with two N, J-E-N-N -N, dash coach. Coach. C-O-A-C-H. I can't believe I remember that. that yeah. That's, uh, so, <laughs> that's, a, that's uh, a forward slash, right? After the dot com. Forward that's right. Slash. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll make sure we put that in the, in the comments as well. But I have to tell you this, this is uh this is going to be one of my favorite episodes. It, it just, it's such a mover for people and you know, a great time to do 30 mornings was really any time, 
but I'm not sure if any time was built more for creating a morning ritual or a nightly ritual than quarantine times. I, I think this is the time because we are looking for order. We are looking to get rid of the mayhem and the ahem. You know, we are looking to own our day. Right now, we don't even know what day it is. You know, so so it's one of those where it's going to give you the structure that we need. And uh, I did earlier. I did CR 101. I did what you know, mess or success. It's your choice. What does success look like in quarantine times? And the S was structure at the beginning of success. The last S is strategy. And, and success begins with structure, ends with strategy. And the strategy is, is the structure of the morning ritual. So I would encourage everybody to check out 30 Mornings. It starts on May 11th with Tony and Jen. Uh, there's also a West Coast version taught by Neil and Shalee. And uh, I will tell you, this was fantastic. Thank you both for being on today on The Daily Dose. I really appreciate and love both of you. Thank you, we love you too so much. And, and what you just said, I feel like has made us so powerful in this time of, of I don't even know what kind of time it is, <laughs> of change, of, of who knows what is happening. But, but the old me would have been a basket case right now. And I don't, it's not that I don't have those moments, but they're much more contained. And I feel so much more ready to go to battle with everything and anything that's happening around me because of these tools. So I love it. that's Thank it. You. Yeah, and, and yeah, definitely thank you for having us, Michael, and, and your friendship and mentorship over the last, you know, six, seven years I've known you as, as you know, honestly, and, and I think I've told you this before, I mean, it's made the biggest difference in, in my life in all these different areas, you know, and, and I've been in countless, you know, coaching programs and d different seminars and that sort of stuff, but literally the stuff I've learned from you over the last several years has made the, the biggest change. Yeah, we love you. Well, we thank you. We, we went a little long today. And you and you know what, if you guys want to keep talking like that for another hour, uh, we'll just we'll just keep recording because that was so good. I'm, I'm so honored and privileged to, to know and uh, both of you and call you both friends. And, and uh, thank you so much for, for teaching so many and helping so many create their morning ritual and get their lives under control. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you, this has been a daily dose of positivity and productivity we even implemented. You've already implemented. And uh, remember, this is the daily dose brought to you by referralspodcast.com and the generosity generation. And tomorrow will blow you away. Tim Brahim is going to come on. He's an energy and mindset guru. He's my energy and mindset guru. I can't wait for you to meet one of my mentors, Tim Brahim, tomorrow on the Daily Dose. We will see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks, Tony and Jen. Bye. Thank Thanks, you. everyone.